Hello, my name is Anthony Haskins with iDrive One Motor Cars in Carrollton, Texas. What I'm going to do today is go over the summon feature of your Tesla. The summon feature is a way to make your car come to you. Now there are several instances under which you would want to use this. I'm going to go over the instances where it can be applied. And there are three different ways that you can summon your cars. I'm going to go over all three of those ways. So pay attention, take notes if you need to, or you can give me a call at the end of the video if you want to, if you have any questions. You ready? Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use a 2016 Tesla Model X as our demonstration vehicle. Now, something about the Model X and Summon in general, you've got to note that the vehicle may detect certain obstacles, uh, including those that are very narrow, like a bicycle, uh, below the f lower than the front fascia. Um, as such, the Summon requires that you continually monitor your vehicle's movement uh, so that you can stop it if you need to stop it. You can stop it using your remote, your my tesla app or simply by touching any one of the door handles okay all right here the we first go. thing that we're going to want to do is set the car up for summon you're going to do that by going to controls settings autopilot and then you're going to come over here to auto park summon you want to activate that right now it's off you want to turn it on when it turns it on it's going to give you some warning signs it's going to tell you some things that you need to do it ask you if you're sure you want to activate it you simply say yes okay so now you're activated now you want to customize the summon so that you have more precise control over how the car is parked and how the car is unparked you're going to hit under summon hit customize when you hit customize, your bumper clearance is going to be one of the first things that you're going to adjust. This tells you how much room in the front or the rear bumper, if you're backing up or moving forward, you want to clear the object in front of you or behind you. So I want to set this at 12 inches. So we're going to have it for a foot. Your summon distance will tell you how far the car will actually move when you're summoning. So you can actually go take that up as far as 40 feet or you can bring it down to whatever level you feel most comfortable with. So however much room you need, program that in. I'm going to set it at 25. Your side clearance is going to let you know, is you're going to tell the car if it's going into a real tight space or pretty much a standard space. We're going to put it on standard. We'll do tight a little bit later. Uh, do you want to require continuous press? I've got to set it no. If you're going to use your remote or if you're going to activate someone from inside the car, you've got to have it on no. You don't want to use a continuous press. What a continuous press does, it means that when you activate someone remotely, you have to keep your finger on the button in order for the car to move. You take your finger off the button to stop the car. We're going to pre-program the car so that it can move a predetermined period of time and stop automatically. Use Auto Home Link right here simply means do you want to use your Auto Home Link? If you're moving the car, backing it out of your garage, for example, it'll automatically open your garage door, back the car out, and then close the garage door once you've gotten out. So if you're moving in or out of a garage, you probably want to have that on. If you're in a parking lot, a parking garage, something of that nature, it's not really necessary to use the home link. Okay? Now, once we have everything set, now we're ready to do it. Okay, we found a parking space. Now, it's important to remember that your Tesla on Summon feature will only move frontwards and backwards in a straight line. So it's important when you find your space to do the best you can to line your car up with the space. That way when you summon the car, it's going to move forward and it's going to make whatever minute turns it needs to make to get into the space. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to summon the car using the remote. Okay? To activate someone with the remote, 
you simply take the top button here that you use to unlock your unlock your doors press it and hold it one time when you do that you're going to see your flashes come on on the car when the flashes come on release and press one time and hold for a second the rear trunk release if you're going to back up we don't want to back up we want to go forward so we're going to press the top again activate the summon and we're going to push the front trunk and we're going to hold that down for a second and that's going to bring the car towards us okay now remember we've got 12 inches of clearance set for the car so as it moves into the parking space it's going to stop when it gets 12 inches away from the curb there you go it's all done it's parked set to go same amount of distance on either side of the car now when you come back to your car if you find that the car is still a little bit tight you can pull it out of that space by doing the same in reverse the very top press it and hold it the flashes come on when the flashes come on hit the rear trunk release hold it and then release it and the car will automatically back itself out of the space when it gets to the amount of, that we set up on the inside of the car 25 feet it'll stop if we had set at 40 feet we would back up clearly all the way to 40 feet so that's how you're going to use the summon feature with the remote what we're going to do now is show you how to park it from inside the car okay so now we're going to learn how to activate your summon feature while you're in the car let's say you're parking in a parking spot somewhere uh, and the cars are pretty close together you're not sure if your car will fit in there or not or you know that if you get into that spot you're not going to be able to open the doors well enough to get everybody out so what you're going to want to do is you'll want to go ahead and use the auto park summon feature in this situation so what you're going to do to activate that you're going to make sure the car is on and then you're going to go over to your park press it rapidly twice when you do that, you're going to see the auto park enabled activated, and then you're going to see the auto park direction. What you're going to do, since we're moving forward, is we're going to push forward on auto park. Okay? Now it's ready to auto park. If you're going to be backing up, obviously, you would use the bottom arrow. So now, you simply get out of the car. Once you've gotten out of the car, sit back and relax and the car will park itself so now if you're in a very 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 tight space and you're worried whether or not you're going to be able to get out this allows you to actually get out of the car before you park it so as you can see it's making itself centered in the lane so you're going to be able to park this vehicle without actually being in the vehicle again we had it set at 12 inches so it's going to stop 12 inches from whatever is in front of it or 12 inches away from the curb now it's important to know that there has to be something on all three sides of the parking spot in order for you to park for example this parking spot here for example probably wouldn't work because you don't have anything in the front it's got to have the sensors if you're backing in it's got to use the rear sensor to sense an object and it's got to use your side sensors to sense something on the side so that's it. That's how you park a car using the summon feature. Again, my name is Anthony Haskins with I Drive One Motor Cars. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. Thanks. Okay, so today what we've gone through is how to use the summon feature with your remote and how to use the summon feature from inside the car, not using the remote. The third way that you have to summon the car obviously is with the My Tesla app. The My Tesla app it goes the same way. You simply collect, select Summon on your app, push the buttons that are prompt, you're prompted to push, and the car will actually do the same thing it does if you're using your key fob or if you're doing it from inside.
okay? A couple of things to remember. Make sure that you're surrounded on three sides of your parking space by something your sensors can find. A curb, another car, whatever the case may be. Also remember to set your uh, travel up in the car before you actually go. We talked about that at the very beginning, beginning of the video. Again, if you have any questions about the Summon Auto Park feature, give us a call at iDrive One Motor Cars in Carrollton, Texas. You can reach us at 214-550-5744, or of course, you can find us at www.idrive1, the number one, idrive1.net. Thanks. Keep an eye out for other videos telling you some really cool stuff about your Teslas coming up. Thanks.